Hello everyone, welcome to the signal system class. In the previous class, we discussed the Meson's gain formula for finding the overall gain of a given signal flow graph. In today's class, we will take an example and with the help of an example, we will see how we can apply Meson's gain formula to find out the overall gain of this signal flow graph. As we see in the figure, the signal flow graph is shown in the figure 1. With the help of Meson's gain formula, we will find the overall output by input that is x4 by x1 of this system. Now we know that according to the Meson's gain formula, the overall gain is given by C by R is equal to summation Pk delta K divided by delta. So for finding Pk, we will first find out the number of forward paths in this given signal flow graph. From the given signal flow graph, we find that there is only one forward path between the input and the output which goes from x1 to x3 to x4. So we have only one forward path. So we will get the term in the numerator we will get only the term p1 into delta 1 because there is only one forward path and the value of p1 will be equal to the, num the gains of this path. The gain from x1 to x3 is 1 and the gain from x3 to x4 is a34. So the value of p1 will be equal to 1 into a34 and what is a34? a34 is g. So that will be equal to 1 into g that will be equal to g. Now we know that the value of delta 1 will be 1 if the first forward path touches all the loops. So first we will find out the total number of loops present in this figure. In this figure, we find that there is only one loop which runs from x3 to x4 to x2 to x3. There is only one loop and we find that this forward path, this forward path is touching this loop. Therefore, the value of delta 1 will be equal to 1 as we have written. Delta 1 is equal to 1 because the first forward path touches all the loops but here only one loop is present. So in the numerator we will get p1 into delta 1, we will substitute the values of p1 delta 1. Now we have to find out delta. What is delta? Delta is 1 minus summation L1 plus summation L2 minus summation L3 plus summation L4 and so on. Here we find that since only one loop is present, so only the term L1 will be present because there is only one loop present in this signal flow graph and the value of L1 will be the summation of the loop gain. So here in this figure we find that the value of L1 will be equal to A34 into A24 into minus 1 which we have written in this figure which we have written in this formula that is output x4 divided by the input x1 will be equal to p1 into delta 1 divided by 1 minus l1 and we know that we have substituted a34 was g and what was a24 was h. So we get the overall gain c by r is equal to g divided by 1 plus gh according to the block diagram and according to the SFG, the same formula will be x4 by x1 is equal to a34 divided by 1 plus a34 into a24. I hope this is clear to all of you.